And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Troy David Phillips here at Flashback Comics in Woodbridge, Virginia. And I am not the champion of the immortal city of Kunlun. But I am wearing the sigil of Shaolau the Undying, the dragon that Danny Rand had to wrestle to gain the power of the Iron Fist. Today, however, as you might have surmised, I am actually going to talk about Danny Rand, aka Iron Fist, to get you prepped and prepared for the upcoming Netflix original series featuring, starring, Iron Fist. Now, Iron Fist first came to us in the comics back way back in the 1970s in Marvel premiere number 15. Uh, he was a character uh, written by Roy Thomas, art by Gil Kane, and inspired in part by a Bill Everett character also known as Amazing Man. Daniel Rand was a human child from New York who traveled with his parents in search of the mythic city of Kunlun, lying next to us in an alternate dimension. Uh, Daniel's parents were killed, and that itself is a long story, but to bring us up a little bit quicker to speed here, uh, Daniel, while living in the city of Kunlun, would undergo the trials, the test of the one, the test of the many, and the test of Shao Lao the Undying, and at the end of it all would become the immortal champion of the immortal city, Kunlun, which only makes itself available to the primaterial plane once in a generation. What we did not know at that time was that there were other immortal cities, and these other immortal cities had champions of their own. Now these champions might have been like the Dog Brother, or Bride of Nine Spiders, or Fat Cobra. In any event, there is a regular competition that each of these cities have, that they bring all their champions together and their champions fight each other. Danny got the opportunity to battle against the other immortal champions, and let me tell you, he had his hands full. That was Matt Fraction's Immortal Iron Fist series, and if you hadn't checked that one out, you really should. Uh, Matt Fraction, Ed Brubaker, David Aja, gorgeous stuff is that series. There's a five-issue companion series that goes with it, The Immortal Weapons. That explains more about the other Immortal Weapons. In the 1970s, the Power Man book and the Iron Fist book merged into Power Man Iron Fist. And so from issue number 50 into its conclusion at 125, we had the two characters team together. And that was a really good book. Lots of characters appeared in that. You would see the second and third appearance of the character Sabretooth. Uh, you would see Sabretooth team up with uh, Constrictor. You'd see other Marvel characters as these two put up their bodyguard agency, uh, the Heroes for Hire. They would work with the Daughters of the Dragon, Misty Knight and Colleen Wing. And we would see Luke Cage go on the run, accused of a murder he did not commit, the murder of his good friend Danny. Danny came back to us, however, alive and almost well in the pages of Namor. Now this was the 1990 John Byrne series, uh, Namor the Submariner, Marvel's first mutant. It was revealed that Iron Fist was still alive and Iron Fist was brought back took over the Rand Meacham Corporation, the corporation that his father and partner had built, that Danny had taken over. And so Danny has rejoined us as a kung fu billionaire. That's the essence of the character, and that's a pretty good essence to go forward with. Danny has been one of the best martial artists in the Marvel Universe, right alongside with Captain America, with Daredevil, with Shang-Chi Iron Fist, and this is Danny with his flaming kung fu fist. Now, the Iron Fist character has moved through several series and had several story evolutions along the way, some of them better than others, I'll be honest. But for the most part, I have loved this character from bell to bell, from beginning to end, from Marvel premiere number 15 to the most current Power Man and Iron Fist, and look in 2017 for Iron Fist to get a new series from Marvel. So, that brings you up to speed. You probably have more questions and I would be happy to answer them. Maybe you're checking out the Flashback website, flashbackcomics.com. Well, you can email me questions from there. You could certainly reach out to me on our Facebook page and send questions to me. You could put your questions in the comments of this video. Uh, there are lots of ways to get hold of me. One of my favorite is when you walk through the door and say, hey, Troy David, I saw your video. What's up with Iron Fist? And I'll be happy to answer that for you. So, take a deep breath, summon your chi, and make your fists like unto things of iron. And I'll see you in our next video.